Hello guys, welcome back to Medico DIY and today in this video we'll be talking about bronchiolitis. Bronchiolitis it is the one of the most common acute lower respiratory tract infection occurring in the infants. It usually occurs in the spring and the winter season and it is characterized by inflammation of the bronchioles. The age of uh, occurrence of bronchiolitis it varies from 1 month to 2 years of age but it usually occurs between 1 to 6 months of age. The etiological agent is respiratory syncytial virus, but other virus like parainfluenza virus, influenza virus, adenovirus may also be involved in causing bronchiolitis. The incubation period is 4 days and the source of infection is nasopharyngeal secretions. The mode of transmission is droplet spread and the route of entry is nose and conjunctiva. The protection against the respiratory syncytial virus is provided by Ig3 uh, subclass antibodies, but it does not uh, cross the placenta a substantial amount so as to provide protection against the respiratory syncytial virus. Hence, the uh, immunoglobulin that is IgA present in the colostrum, which is present in adequate amount, uh, is uh, mainly responsible to, pro uh, to uh, reduce the risk of being hospitalized in breastfed infants. The pathogenesis of bronchiolitis um, is as follows. There is exposure of the susceptible infants to respiratory syncytial virus via the droplet infection. And this, this results in the spread of infection to the lower respiratory tract, that is the bronchioles. And there will be inflammation of the bronchioles. And this inflammation, it results in edema, uh, that is swelling, a bronchiolar spasm, thickening and formation of mucus plus, as well as uh, cellular debris. Due to these uh, changes in the bronchioles, uh, it results in decreasing the radius of the bronchioles, that is narrowing of the bronchioles. And we know that whenever the radius decreases, uh, the resistance to the airflow increases as radius is inversely proportional to resistance. So there will be increased resistance to the airflow in both inspiration and expiration. And during expiration, there is also partial collapse of the bronchioles. There will be egress of the air from the lungs, which is severely restricted in this phase. This results in trapping of the air in the alveoli, causing emphysema. When the obstruction is complete, the air in the alveoli is absorbed, resulting in atelectasis. And the diminished ventilation and diffusion in severe cases results in respiratory acidosis and hypoxemia. The clinical features of uh, bronchiolitis uh, is as follows. The bronchiolitis is usually starts with features of upper respiratory tract infection, which after a few days, uh, there will be high-grade fever. It is followed by high-grade fever, fast breathing, and respiratory distress. In severe cases, there will be uh, the baby will present with cyanosis, lower intercostal, and um, suprasternal retractions. On examination, the anterior posterior diameter of the chest is increased. On palpation, the liver and spleen may be palpable as uh, the liver and spleen are pushed downwards due to the hyperinflated lungs. On percussion, since uh, there will be um, emphysema trapping of the air in the alveoli, hyperresonance sound will be heard. And on auscultation, fine crepitations and ronchi are audible. In severe cases, the breath sounds may be faint or inaudible. The investigations for the bronchiolitis is divided into following. Complete blood count uh, can be done in which the leukocyte count may be normal or slightly elevated. On the rapid test on nasopharyngeal secretion shows a positive for the respiratory sensational virus. And on the chest x-ray, there will be hyperinflated lungs. There will be increased, uh, abnormally increased translucency of the lungs. There can be infiltrates may be present and the diaphragm is pushed downwards. The differential diagnosis of uh, bronchiolitis can be either bronchial asthma, bacterial pneumonia, heart failure, and foreign body. Uh, the bronchial pneumonia is uh, usually less common in infants um, or uh, children below one year of age. The children usually respond to bronchodilators, and there may be family history uh, of the bronchial asthma may be present. The bacterial pneumonia may also be another differential diagnosis for bronchiolitis, um, but it can be differentiated by the presence of high-grade fever and adventitial sounds in the lungs. The high-grade fever is present both in bronchiolitis as well as in bacterial pneumonia. The heart failure, um, where the patient will have cardiomegaly, tachycardia, raised jugular venous pressure, hepatomegaly, and basal crepitations will be heard. Foreign body aspiration may also be another cause, where there will be localized uh, wheeze, sign of collapse, or localized obstructive emphysema. Uh, bronchiolitis, it is usually of self-limiting disease, and it resolves in three to seven days. The patient with bronchiolitis uh, have uh, increased chance of developing a bronchial asthma in one-fourth of the cases. 
uh, for the treatment symptomatic treatment is done and the baby is nursed in humid atmosphere prefer preferably in a reclining position that is 30 to 40 degree with head and neck elevated for the mild diseases, uh, they are treated at home in humidified atmosphere. But if the child develops uh, severe signs of respiratory distress or develops feeding difficulties, then the child should be hospitalized. And the treatment of choice is moist oxygen inhalation. And uh, the oxygen uh, is given even in the absence of cyanosis. And in for very sick patients, the concentration of 60% of oxygen is given through the hood to maintain on and oxygen saturation of more than 92%. The fluid and electrolyte maintenance should be done. Antibiotics have no role in um, bronchiolitis as it is caused by uh, a viral agent that is uh, RSV mostly. And antiviral uh, drugs like rivavirin may be uh, useful. It is usually not uh, of use in patients who, are, who were initially healthy, but in patients who uh, have underlying diseases like congenital heart disease, chronic lung, lung diseases, then in such patients, rivavirin may be used uh, to shorten the duration of illness. And for such, uh, it is given via nebulizer 16 hours per day for 3 to 5 days. And uh, in cases of respiratory failure, uh, which is seen in severe cases of bronchiolitis, continuous positive airway pressure may also be given along, and assistive ventilation may also be required. Extracorporeal membrane oxygenation is also given in severe cases. Hence, uh, this must for today. Uh, thank you for staying till the end. Hope you like the videos and stay tuned for more videos.